What's up, peoples? This is Mr. Brandon. Uh, don't be fooled this week. I did not wake up at 7.13 this morning to record this tutorial. It is actually 7.13 p.m. <laughs> so I'm actually doing it pretty late today because my videos are uploaded on Tuesdays. But anyways, this week, we're going to be working with a click track inside of Record. You're probably like, what the heck, Brandon? There's already a click track inside of Record. Well, I want to use a different click track because just for say, I don't like the click track that is inside of it already. And besides, I'm going to show you how to route this click track during live shows, and as everyone probably already knows, I don't know, you may not know this, but you cannot route where your click is coming from, so you have to import your own click track to do this. Um, there's going to be a link in the description where you can download a new click track from SoundCloud. There are many more on the internet if you want to find a new one, but anyways, I'm going to hit Command T if on Mac and Control T on PC to create a new audio track. So now that we have that audio track open, this is where we're going to import the click track. And just note that if you downloaded the click track that I have in the link below this video, it is at 95 BPM, not 120. So before opening that up, you want to put this down to, oops, 95. Now I can go ahead and import that. File, import audio file. And double click on my click track or wherever you have it located. And then I have it import. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit because it is a little bit quiet. And I'm going to let you listen to that after I turn off this click. Now that we have our click track, and say so we've already created our song, I'm just going to open up a couple audio tracks to say, say these were the rest of our song and this was our click track. If we were just to let this stream out of our audio device or whatever we're plugging from, then it's going to go into the mixer and then it's going to come through the mains and everybody that you're playing in front of is going to hear your click track. So we need to separate our click track from our music. And basically what we're going to do is turn our music into a mono signal and our click track into a mono signal. So we're going to switch over to our mixer. And here's what we need to do. This audio 2 that I have right here is actually my click track. So I'm going to name that click. And I'm going to pan that to the hard left. You can do it to the hard right or the hard left. But when we get to the music, you want to do it to the exact opposite. Since I pan to the left, I'm going to pan all of my music to the right. Since I don't have any music in there, it's not going to play. But basically what I have now is a click track coming through my left output and all the music coming out through the right output. So I'm going to send the right output to the mixing board and that is going to be my music. So only my music can come through the mains and my click track I can route to my own personal mixer or I can route it to the board and then that just won't be sent through, it'll be sent back to you or the rest of the band if the rest of the band is going to be on a click track. But that is really all you have to do.